Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example on circle theorems. A, B, C and D are the points on the circumference of the circle with center O. A, C is the diameter of the circle and sides B, D and B, C are equal and angle D, B, C is given as 62 degrees. Work out the values of W, X, Y and Z and give a reason for each of your answers. So we have to find out the value of the missing angles W, X, Y and Z and we have to give the geometrical reason for each. So let us start by looking at the triangle B, D, C first where it is mentioned that the side B, D is equal to side B, C. Since the two sides of this triangle BDC are equal, so we have the angle D equal to angle C for the triangle BDC. So by using the angle sum property of the triangle, we can write here angle B plus angle D plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. So angle B is given as 62 degrees. And angle D is given as W. So let us write the angle D as W. Plus angle C can also be written as W. Because this is an isosceles triangle. So in place of angle C I will write W is equal to 180 degrees. So we have the two like terms. So we can add them up. 2W is equal to 180 minus 62. And we have 2W is equal to. 118 degrees so we have w is equal to 118 divided by 2 so this gives us a value of 59 degrees so we got the value of w that is 59 and the reason for finding the angle w is the isosceles triangle pdc so let us write it over here angle w is 59 degrees because angles in an isosceles triangle PDC. So let us try to find out the next angle which is angle X. So to find out the angle X let us consider the diameter AC. The diameter AC divides the circle into two equal halves and the diameter AC makes an angle in the semicircle at point D. So we are going to use a circle theorem over here which states that Angle made by a diameter in a semicircle is always 90 degrees. So you can see that I have drawn a circle and there are two points A and B. So if I connect them, they act as the diameter of the given circle. And according to the given theorem, the angle made by the diameter in a semicircle. So the diameter divides the circle into two equal halves. So if these two points of the diameter make an angle in the semicircle, then the angle is always going to be as 90 degrees. So let us make use of this theorem to solve the given example above. Now here since AC is given as the diameter, AC makes an angle in the semicircle at point D that is over here. So we are going to get this entire angle D as 90 degrees. So we can write X plus W is equal to 90 degrees because we can see that the angle D is found by the two angles X and W. So it's the total of both the angles. And we have to find out the value of X and we had got the value of W as 59 degrees. So let us substitute over here and this is equal to 90. So that gives us a value of X as 31 degrees. So we have got the value of X as 31. So let us write over here x is equal to 31 degrees and the reason being angle made by diameter in the semicircle. Now let us try to find out the value of y. So we have the angle y over here and to find out the value of angle y we are going to use another circle theorem which is given as angles in the same segment theorem. So it states that angles in the same segment are equal. So here you can see that I have drawn a circle and I have marked two points A and B. These two points divide the entire circle into two segments. The smaller part is the minor segment 
and the larger part is the major segment. Now let these two points make some angles in the major segment. So at this point we have one angle. So let us make another angle. So we can make n number of angles in the major segment. So I am showing here just four angles. So now if at this point I have an angle of 10 degrees, then I am going to have at this point also as 10 degrees and it repeats at all the points in the major segment wherever the angles are made by the points A and B. So this is called as the angles in the same segment are equal. So let us make use of this theorem and solve the given example above. Now consider the two points D and C. Now these two points divide the entire circle into two segments. So the smaller part is the minor segment and the larger part is the major segment. And we can see that the two points make an angle in the major segment at point B which is 62 degrees and the same two points make an angle in the major segment at point A as Y degrees. So by using the angles in the same segment theorem we can write that angle Y is also going to be equal to 62 degrees which is same as angle B. So let us write it over here y is equal to 62 degrees because angles in the same segment are equal. Now let us try to find out the last angle which is angle z. Now to find out the value of angle z, you can see that I have marked the values of x, y and w which we had got earlier. And to find z, we are going to consider the triangle A, C and D. Now here we can use the angle sum property of the triangle and we can write it as angle A plus angle C plus angle D equal to 180 degrees and angle A we have got it as Y and we found it it was 62 degrees plus angle C is the Z which we need to find plus so angle D is the sum of X and W which we had got it as 90 degrees so let us substitute here as 90 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. So we have the value of z as 180 degrees minus 90 minus 62 degrees. So this will give us a value of 28 degrees. So let us write it over here. So angle z is 28 degrees because angle sum property of the triangle ACD. So this is how we find out the angles x, y, w and z and these are their respective geometrical reasons. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. So if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.